Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, as part of our Bring That Mercedes Back From The Dead, in this episode, we're gonna be working on the front brakes. Now, there's not as much to do on the front brakes, thank goodness, as on the rear brakes. Uh, I believe, I'm 99% sure the calipers are fine. It looks like they've got almost new brake shoes, or brake pads on there. Um, it's a little, little rusty, a little crusty, but, um, our main goal and objective today is to replace both of the rubber hoses. They look, well, I don't think they're original, but, um, and definitely we want to bleed the brakes. Now, I'm already looking at the caliper and the bleeder screw and I don't really like what I see because <laughs> it doesn't look like it's been loosened in a while. So, um, hopefully one doesn't snap off. If so, then we're gonna be doing front calipers. And rotors so anyway hopefully it won't happen so let me show you what we're working with this is the passenger side and I can already see there is one of the sensors missing and I don't have one on hand however uh, what concerns me is the bleeder screw see how rusted it is so I'm gonna put a little bit of PB blaster on there and Probably, now these are not the factory hoses, but uh, they don't, they actually look to be in pretty fair shape. You know, we'll look at the other side, but before I do anything, I want to see if I can remove this screw. All right, so I just cracked open the bleeder screw on both sides to test it, and uh, the air that you see coming out of there is from the line gonna bubble a lot bubble a little bit let me uh, depress the brake pedal Now the reason that I'm doing this now, because I'm getting ready to take the hose off, is I'm trying to get all the old fluid out of the uh, front so that we don't have old fluid going through the new brake hose. Not super critical, but might as well do it right. There we go. Okay, that pulls right out. Okay, so we have our new hose on the passenger side and we've got our new hose on the driver's side. So, next procedure is we will proceed to bleed the brakes. Now I'm going to try to get you guys in close. Alright guys, so here we are at the end of our front brake um, extravaganza. Again, we did the hoses and it took forever to bleed the front. I don't know what, I went through about four bottles of brake fluid. Um, the rear were not even that hard, even though the lines are a lot longer. So uh, the brakes are doing good, they feel good. They feel a lot, lot better than before I did them. I think I really only had the two front wheels stopping the car, maybe just a hair on one of the sides of the rear, but the other passenger side was completely seized. So I've got um, everything taken care of. I'm gonna bleed the brakes again tomorrow. I ran out of fluid and uh, we'll do it again. Just so I'd like to get every single bit of air out that's possible. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you would like to see more of these um, on the Mercedes, there's a lot of stuff we have to do. While I was in the back, I noticed my axle boots are torn. We're gonna have to do that. 
got to do a lot more maintenance. We got to get this paint shining. I mean, it's it's a lot better than it was, but we haven't even started on that. And I got to get these tires. You know, I've put 89 miles on the car, and I still have these dry rotted tires. It seems like every time I start to do something, something else breaks, and that's just what happens when you let a car sit as long as I did and haven't done anything to it. But it's running good. We're going to get the vacuum straightened out so it shifts fine, so I don't have to shift it manually anymore. So I'm looking forward to this car and all the other videos that we have to do. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the next video.